Welcome to part two. In part one, we identified that our patient was a so-called responder to a recruitment maneuver. Now, given the status with a significant increase of ventilation in the dorsal region, the next task would be to identify where the onset of de-recruitment begins. So at which peep level can we see a major reduction in dorsal ventilation? In order to compare different peep levels, a decremental peep trial had been performed. Now, to assess the onset of de-recruitment, we have to set a new reference point. This has to be set where we least expect possible de-recruitment. In our example, this is at the highest PEEP level. At this point, the distribution shows a tidal variation of 11% in region number 4. Then, using the second cursor as a comparison point, we compare how much the ventilation changes when the PEEP is decreased in steps of 2 cm of water. Now, when we compare a PEEP level of 14 with a PEEP level of 12, 14, 12, we see no color changes in the differential image. Usually a blue color would mean there is a significant increase of ventilation and orange color would mean there is a significant decrease of ventilation. So when decreasing our PEEP from 14 to 12 centimeters of water, there is no sign of the recruitment. However, if we further decrease the PEEP setting to 10, and compare the two tidal images, we can already see that the gray area is increasing. So this loss of ventilation is even more clearly represented in the differential image here. We can already see an orange spot which indicates collapse. When we take a look at the tidal volume, we can see that this did not change at all it was even slightly higher at the PEEP level of 10. So basically what is happening here is that there is a redistribution from the dorsal parts towards the central parts of the lung. And this effect becomes more and more prominent when we further decrease the PEEP level. Now we go to a PEEP level of 8. Remember, that this was the optimal PEEP level according to the highest dynamic compliance, we can see that there is almost a complete lack of ventilation in the region of interest number four, indicating collapse. Plus, the distribution now changes from 11% to 1%, which is yet another indicator for collapse. Plus, you can see these bright orange spots in the dorsal region. And of course, as expected, if we further decrease the PEEP level to 6, down to 6, these effects become more and more prominent. So by using Pomo Vista 500, we can detect otherwise unnoticed collapse in the dorsal region even before the global compliance of the respiratory system starts to drop. So please click here to find out more about possible overdistension in our next video.